are off to go ice fishing. I just got done work early today. It is like noon. Uh, the temp's still four below. Oh my God, I got a fun All right, redo. We are off ice for, I don't know, it's four below zero still right now. It was 16 below I had this morning. And yeah, not much wind, so it's actually pretty decent out. It says it's supposed to get to 10, I don't believe that, but we're gonna go hike into a slough off the Wisconsin River that hardly anyone fishes. Um, I'd be very surprised if there was any holes in there. Um, usually pretty good, but I just got wind that the bite on the Mississippi died pretty hard today because of the cold front. So we're gonna just hike back in there and see. There's some monster perch in this little slough. Uh, I think two years ago I caught a like 14 and three quarter inch perch back there. And that's what we're after. Big jumbo perch, but there's big crappies and some really nice gills in there too. We're gonna obviously have to have the shack up just to keep the holes open. But uh, we're gonna get the heat ripping in there and I'll set up two tip downs in my shack and we'll jig all afternoon until dark. We're just getting started. That's about three quarter of a mile hike back in here, but and breaking trail the first time always sucks too. But <sighs> fat and out of shape. I'm not in shape like I was elk hunting. Actually, looks like I should have took that route right through there. <sighs> just gotta take our time so we don't get too sweaty. In case my heater doesn't fire up, it'll be... Keep her moving. <sighs> Should've left my bibs off. All right. I'm fat. I get right over on that little guy there. Ah, always love a good nostril freeze this time of year. Billy Bob, that's a that sucks breaking the trail in there the first time. Well, I can see the first slough. Humper all the way to the back slough. That's another about a quarter mile or more probably but we got on some flat ground, it won't be too bad pulling, but three years ago I fell in one time coming from the other way, which was my own stupid fault, but yeah, we just gotta be safe, be slow. Spud, Spud is your friend. Holy crap, I'm hot. Just yank her right through there. Hell, dirty dog. Why, there's some ice there. All right, I gotta see how much ice is here. I 
on it. All right, we got seven and a half inches of ice here. I cannot believe that, how much that is. I think we're off to the next slough. Always a little freaky when you're the first one on. Just the essentials today. One rod, two tip downs. A little wore out from the perch battle the other weekend. Whew. I'm sweaty. We, uh, um, there's usually a really good afternoon bite here. Oh. Damn it. Well, we're set up now, finally. Um, got the Markham turned on, and I don't see any fish. I'd have to move. Oh, that's going to suck. I might go out and drill some test holes, eight or ten around, and stuff the camera down there until I find fish. We might have to move, but I'm going to sit here for just a little bit and see if we can't get something riled up here in 20 minutes. If not, I'm going to go drill another hole and check another spot. I'm kind of off of the weed edge, so I might be, I might want to be right in the weeds. So... Well, let's jig here for a little bit and see if we can see some fish. I just saw a huge school of fish swim by way on the outside of me, to my left actually. That was a big school. I think I'm going to sit here a little bit and see if they come back in, but that was a big school. comes those fish again I can just see them on the on my mark them on the way outside I got a little perch right down there oh, he just went away well, I'm kind of in a debacle what to do. Um, I've only seen two fish on this camera. And I just moved. And that's where I saw the two fish. One bluegill and one perch. But I still see that school way off in the distance. But I don't know what they are. If they're crappies or just underneath the ice. I mean, I'd be able to swim, see them swim by my hole if they came by. But I don't know. It's getting to be three o'clock only two hours till dark and my other option is to pick up and get on that other slough and pop some holes in there and see if I can't find some fish in there but, so I don't know it's super cold out so I'm not too motivated to move but if I want to catch some fish I probably should 
they have lockjaw pretty much. Yay, no skunk today. Just a little teeny gill. There's a fish. Another little little guy. I know there's big ones in here too. We're gonna get that last half of our bite here. Not the size we're looking for. I guess it's better than sitting on a couch than a warm house. That could be in a warm shack. Oh, there's a big fatty down there. Well, I would say that's a pretty correct report uh, from the Mississippi saying that the bite is dead today. I think it's dead everywhere today. I mean, it's super cold this morning, and these fish are just in a super negative mood. I mean, there's tons down there. They just come and sniff it and go away. We're taking all four, three girls with us fishing, so we'll see see how that goes. But now we're going out to eat for my girlfriend's birthday, and that's kind of why we're fishing in Madison. And then Sunday, I think, I'm gonna go back to the Mississippi, I think. But not sure yet. Yeah, overall, fun afternoon getting down here for the first time, tons of ice. And uh, we'll be back. I've never fished it this early, so I didn't really know what to expect either, but. Pretty dismal bite. Um, yeah, not too impressive. Um, but I've beat up on these fish pretty much every day I've been out so far. And you know, there's got to be days that are not so good. And today was one of them. I don't know if the cold just had something to do with it, but I mean, I saw tons and tons of fish on that last spot I was at, but they just the little ones would eat and that's about it and the bigger ones they just did not want nothing to do with it so we are out record i gotta redo Why? aubrey angel abigail and the birthday girl we got all of our stuff loaded it's like a lot of stuff doesn't it we're going fishing No holes for tip ups.
we had a little action. Sarah Fine got her birthday fish, but it's pretty slow from what everyone's telling us. So we're just gonna sit around and watch tip downs all afternoon, even if we don't catch much. But what do you do? Pretty chilly out, like 16 degrees, 10 mile an hour wind. It's cold. Got all four girls in the blind right now. So that's why I'm out here jigging. It's loud in there. Yeah, you gotta make sure you thumb that, thumb it. You gotta thumb that line. Put your thumb right on there and then just set the hook. You dig it off? No. No, oh, it's on there. Just go slow. It's probably a northern. Aubrey, do you want to film? Kiss it? No. Okay, hurry up. Back to Jig and I haven't caught a fish yet. You have two uh oh. Balls. I do. The girls are winning. Well, Jeremy <laughs> pretty much caught us one bad. We have to win. There he is, finally. <laughs> Monstrous. Monstrous. Oh, yeah. That's a fish, though, right? That's the little guy. The ball. Well, that was a pretty slow afternoon. It was. Um, didn't catch much, but... Oh, you're recording. Yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> Birthday girl caught a that. nice big fat bluegill. <laughs> We've had one tip down and that's it. So, it's about 4.30 now. We're going to be packing up real shortly and hitting the road. See you on the Mississippi tomorrow.